horses are on the track for the 11th and final race, the County Fair Challenge for three-year-old trotting colts and geldings. Number one, Defiant Wind, owned by Kenneth Hughes of New Windsor, trained by Jace Sundeen. Michael Osting is up. Two Swiss locks, owned by Mary Lee Jeffers of Flat Rock, trained and driven by John David Finn. Number three, Sweet Talker, is owned by Green Pasture Stables of Carrollton, trained by Reggie Winters. Doug Talley is in the bike. Number four, Seamster, is owned by Sam and Ellen Lilly's Lilly Racing Stable, incorporated of Downers Grove by Jerry and J.D. Graham of Salem and Fairview Heights, trained by Wade Barbary, Dave McGee driving. Number five is Real Classy, owned by Dirk Simpson of Sherman. He's the trainer. Mike Lachance is the driver. Number six, Cash Hour Way, owned by Mike Titus of Charleston, Stan Holsapple of Toledo, trained by Brent Titus. The driver is John Campbell. Number seven, Jute, is owned, trained, and driven by Tom Graham, Jr. of Salem. Number eight, LB Farm Name, owned by Kenneth Buck of Denison, Iowa, trained and driven by Rick Schrock. Number nine, New Jackpot, owned by Mary Alice and Tom Tietrick of Jeff, trained and driven by Tom Tietrick. And number 10 is Party House, owned by Cheryl Clough of Carrollton, Benita Simmons of Springfield, trained and driven by Tom Simmons. Post time in less than five minutes. Here they come. They're off and trotting. Party House guns out from the far outside to try to get to the front of the field, and he clears all of that inside traffic. Simmons had him fired up and ready to roll, and he gets to the front. Cash Hour Way is off stride. Party House to the lead. Jute goes second. LB Farm Name has a tough trip going three wide around the first turn. Seamster is carefully moving up in between horses from fourth into third into second. Further back, Swiss Locks is racing in the fifth position, then Real Classy followed by Defiant Wind, who's seven lengths off the lead, then a gap of two more back to New Jackpot, a gap of nearly 15 back to Sweet Talker, who made a mistake in the opening strides. Cash Our Way is last after a break, 29-2 and two for the opening quarter. They're being led by Seamster, who has made the top by a length. Jute is second. Here comes LB Farm Name from the fourth position up into third, outside of Party House, who is now fourth. Real Classy is moving up on the outside with cover in fifth, around Swiss Locks in sixth. Then Defiant Wind is racing seventh. New Jackpot is eighth, a long way back to Sweet Talker in ninth. Cash Our Way is 10th and last, 59 seconds for the half. Seamster leads it by a length. LB Farm Name is second on the outside. Jute is traveling third against the rail. Real Classy moves up and forth with cover. Party House is locked on the rail in fifth. Swiss Locks moves up to his outside, followed by Defiant Wind, who is side by side with New Jackpot. The rest have ground to make up because they're at the three-quarter. Seamster leads it by a length. LB Farm Name, then Real Classy, who's now parked third. Jute is fourth toward the rail. Swiss Locks up on the outside is fifth. Three quarters and 129 and two. Seamster leads it. Real Classy trying to get him, still two lengths away. LB Farm Name has dropped back toward the inside. It's Seamster with a two length lead, final eighth mile. And Real Classy second. Swiss Locks goes to third. Swiss Locks far outside, trying to close the gap. New Jackpot is coming from far back. Swiss Locks, Real Classy. Swiss Locks, New Jackpot, Real Classy. Swiss Locks. Gets it maybe by a head, but that's a photo finish. Either Swiss Locks or Real Classy or New Jackpot. That is most assuredly a three-way photo for the win. Hold all tickets. The time, 1.59. Result of the photo shows that number two, Swiss Locks, finished first. Number nine, New Jackpot, came from way off the pace to be second. The five, Real Classy, was third, and the four, Seamster, finished fourth. Into the winner's circle for the 11th race, owned by Mary Lee Jeffers of Flat Rock, who bred this three-year-old gelded son of Swiss Connection, trained and driven by John David Finn of Newton Swiss Locks. Win number six and a new lifetime record of 159 for Swiss Locks, who also rallied from off the pace. 900 feet long is this home stretch at DuCoin. It is nearly twice as long as the home stretch at Springfield. And you can do a lot of good off that last turn, and that's exactly what J.D. Finn managed to do. Dale and Jane Adams congratulating John David Finn. He is also their trainer as well for the horses that they own. Dennis Gardner in the winner's circle. Brenda Watson makes presentation of the trophy. Result is still unofficial.